what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A white man accused of robbing a strip casino in blackface in January was charged in federal court on Friday. Cameron James Kennedy, 26, was charged with robbery in the armed holdup of a casino cage at New York, New York. This is according to the U.S. Department of Justice and a federal criminal complaint filed last week. The charge carries a maximum penalty of 20 years in prison. This Cameron guy turns out to be quite the fellow. He was already on federal supervision for a prior bank robbery when he cut off his GPS monitoring bracelet and robbed the casino. He did it in blackface. Now, the cashier said that she knew he wasn't black because his skin tone was off and blotchy. Check out what he said to the cashier before brandishing his gun that was in his waistband. I want all your hundreds and don't mess around. He got away with $23,000. How did he use the money? Turns out that he bought himself a gold bracelet for $1,500. Oh, I don't know if he bought it for himself or somebody else, but he bought a gold bracelet for $1,500. He also bought uh, money orders for more than $1,800 and a $1,000 prepaid debit card in someone else's name. On January 18th, an anonymous tipster told investigators that Kennedy had robbed the casino and they say they matched cell phone records shows that the taxi cab driver dropped him off in a cert at a certain place and that coincided with the cell phone ping. So bam, got him. Cell phone wins again. Man, that cell phone be telling, man. Even when you try to turn it off, they say, well, why'd you have it turned off for this time when you've never turned your cell phone off before for that amount of time? Now, they get you on those cell phones. But you would think with all of these years of practice that the white man would have blackface down pat by now. Let me tell y'all something about blackface. It's only used for circumstances where people want to make a fool out of themselves. Because every time I see somebody in blackface, that's exactly what they look like. And anytime somebody try to blackface themselves, it's obvious that it's blackface, even if the person is black. You can't paint this beautiful skin. It's melanin. You can't paint it, baby. It is what it is. It's natural. Natural. There's nothing you can do to emulate it. Oh, man. Try something else, man. The blackface thing don't work. Another guy tried it, and they busted him. Another white dude tried it. And then you had another guy who had a black mask. <laughs> I mean, he had, like, it... it he had this mask of uh, the guy that's supposed to be black. And his ass got busted. Cameron is not the brightest slot machine in the casino. Maybe I should give him a break. Nah, going in on him. You got to be very, very dumb to rob a casino on the Las Vegas Strip. They got police everywhere. Anybody who has ever been to Vegas will tell you that. They got a cop. You take two steps, another cop. Take one, bam. They got one to your left, one to your right. Trying to rob a casino is a bad idea, period. Unless you have an inside job. It's totally inside. You got all the particulars. But even then, you're probably going to get caught because they're serious about recovering that money, man. They exhaust all of their resources to find people who rob casinos. So, Forget what I said at first. Forget that. Don't try to rock casinos. 
That's why I guess they're trying to give him up to 20 years. If he do get 20 years, they need to give him one for the robbery and 19 for the blackface. Because that's stupid as hell. Blackface does not look natural on anybody. For trying to pull a dumbass stunt like that, Cameron, your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?